you know, pretty much just about uh, anything a bartender might possibly want. You're going to find back here and uh, be able to mix just about any anything you please. Four Roses has quite a treat for us tonight. We're having so much fun at Tales of the Cocktail that we followed Four Roses Bourbon down from Hotel Monteleone to the Mixalizium. So how do we pronounce that? Mixalizium. Mixalizium. So it's a mixology combined with museum. Because uh, again, we're building a search engine online and hoping to archive all the great drinks we find. We started a nonprofit called the Cocktail Spirits and Online Writers Group, and it's a uh, group now of 25 bloggers. Started with a core group of about 12. It's grown up to about 25 cocktail bloggers. I mean, we have Paul. Clark, Clark, Darcy O'Neill, Camper English's members, myself, uh, many of the uh, best read cocktail blogs in the world. Cocktailnerd.com is yours. That's that's correct. Yeah, it's very cool, man. <laughs> what are we doing with Four Roses? Uh, basically, uh, Four Roses. They've brought um, their last uh, marriage release, their single batch, uh, single barrel, small batch, and then their yellow label. And um, they've just created a couple of drinks uh, out of those. You know, bringing together Applejack, Campari, and honey syrup, and then uh, we're serving it over uh, carved ice. That's pretty amazing. I mean, you have my attention, for sure. Well, yeah, join us. Have some nice Four Roses tonight, though. Uh, you dang right. I'm ready for it, too. <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> Replenish some uh, fluids. <laughs> and what kind of damage are we going to do tonight, Gabe? That's what I'm wondering. Well, we're we're going to do a little damage. I, I'm a little concerned about the hardwood floors over here. They're uh, hacking away at the ice, and uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a glorious and beautiful mess. Carving up some glacier ice here. We're taking this. It's a no, tell me about the glacier ice. It's a 400-year-old glacier. It's compact snow from Juneau, Juneau, Alaska, that we've had shipped down here. Um, so it's it's naturally pure, clean, and it's got this beautiful color to it. And we're carving it into spherical shapes right. so we can pour a little wonderful Four Roses over top. About 10 days ago, we went out to the glacier in Alaska, out to the Meltwater Lake, and harvested that ice out of the lake. And then You went to the, the, the lake? Uh -huh. Yeah, my family lives up there. What are we doing with this? We're just letting it, once we get it to its basic shape, we let it temper down and naturally kind of melt down. We usually use a little hammer to kind of whack out the edges here. These little micro fissures as they melt end up smooth so that once it's done melting, you get this. Nice round without any edges. And look who's here. It's Jim Rutledge, master stiller for Four Roses. Have you ever had any ice this old? I don't think so. This is absolutely amazing. I've been standing here watching them uh, carve the ice and make the, the spheres uh, about the size of a croquet ball. It's amazing. Again, those little edges is a place for the alcohol to attack and dilute. So you want it to be as smooth as possible. So what do the colder temperatures do to a bourbon? When we're tasting a Four Roses bourbon, whether we're doing it in a cocktail or by itself, what do the what does the ice do to the bourbon? Uh, it changes the whole complexity, I think. It's uh, it, it's amazing with just a, uh, if you're having a, a bourbon neat and add this ice and uh, the sphere that they're making, it's a uh, minimum surface, I guess, that comes in contact with what they tell me with uh, with the bourbon and it just opens the flavors up. It's uh, it's amazing what it does. It, it surprised me. And what is this going to do to the cocktail tour experience? Except, you know, we know we're having something that's very, very old, but what does it do for our experience? Well, what, what this actually does is it's really, really pure, very, very clean, so it doesn't really affect the flavor of the spirit we're pouring it on, and because it's given a lot more surface area here, it's going to melt slower, keep your cocktail nice and cold without diluting it too far. <laughs> if we poured whiskey on the top of this, it just might melt it down a little bit. So you're still getting a nice cold drink um, without having too much water. We really don't, we want to taste our spirits. I mean, we all drank plenty of water, now we want to drink some bourbon. So we need to start pouring. Then. I, think we I want to taste some bourbon too. How many years do I have to wait for this? Is it going to be a few minutes or a few years? Oh, right there. We'll take all right, it. let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I hope I can get some whiskey in because it's... We'll try it out. I'll give you one that fits. <laughs> it's been taking its time, waiting for you to make a great cocktail with Four Roses Bourbon for this event, right? Absolutely. But yeah, I am using the glacier ice, yes. So what I do uh, each year is I pack a U-Haul trailer full of all the booze that we've gathered, all the interesting bitters and uh, you know ingredients like four roses I'm just doing an old-fashioned for this gentleman over here a little um, Peychaud's bitter Peychaud bitters Peychaud's and some of the very old ice and what else um, Fee Brothers well, I'm making it old-fashioned but I use a little Peychaud's a little Fee Brothers um, rhubarb bitters and a little Fee Brothers old-fashioned bitters and then um, two to one simple syrup so I know your bourbon is it has some age to it but have you ever had anything this old in your mouth absolutely not it's over 400 years old, uh, the ice of from a glacier in uh, Alaska. <laughs> One thing I can say is this ice is definitely drinking age. 
Australia. Drinking age? Yeah. It's definitely legal drinking age at 400 years old. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so this is almost done. We're excited to try this. Trying to uh, make sure that the sponsors that we have have a good opportunity to show off their product with something that's memorable like this. It, it surprised me. And uh, to watch the guys mix these drinks is, is a real treat. Uh, it's amazing. All right. Here's Dan Gardner from Four Roses. Do you like Four Roses on the rocks? I like it on the rocks. I like it straight. I like it in a Manhattan. Uh, it's hard to go wrong. <laughs> Without a doubt. Cheers. Now, now, can you tell the age of the ice just by sampling that? <laughs> I think it's going to need to simmer a little, a uh, little bit before. <laughs> we'll come back to it in a few years. See how you like that. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you.